Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and uh, I have a new guest with me today. A new exciting person. Uh, this is Jolene. I did that tier list thing with them. <laughs> that was so enthusiastic. I don't know how I'm going to be handling this energy. <laughs> No, I got it. I got it. I could bring some energy. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, uh, I was like, yo, we got, like, like I want to, like, rekindle this, like, friendship and everything. So, like, what is the best way to do that than to read fanfiction? <laughs> it's, it's perfect. There's nothing better. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the pinnacle of life. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Yeah. And I see you have us on Wattpad. Yeah, well, it is called the Wattpad Book Club. Well, you think this is gonna be fucking AO3? <laughs> I mean, just mix it up. Yeah. You can start a Wattpad Book Club session and be like, alright, we're on AO3. <laughs> Check it out. It'll be the April Fool's episode. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I just gaslight the audience. I'm like, what are you talking about? This is Wattpad and it's clearly AO3. <laughs> Added, added the Wattpad symbol over it. Yeah, just keep it up. <laughs> yeah, gaslight the audience. <laughs> but, uh, As you should, you know. Yeah. No, no little harm. Yeah, no harm in a little, little prank. A little scoundrel prank. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, today, we were like, what kind of book should we read? And I was like, I could read a Transformers book. if I, I wouldn't have no idea what's going on, though. But they're like, oh, there's too many characters. Yeah, <laughs> I looked up like I was like sitting in my office. I'm like, why don't we look up, do some research on Transformers, like Wattpad fan fiction? They were kind of weird. <laughs> it will be honest. <laughs> kind of weird. I now I'm curious. Yeah, I'll find what I what I have. I'll to find search. my free time. Yeah, but um, I was I was like, well, what do you recommend? Since you're the guest, that you should pick the book. And there, and you were like, we should do One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know anything about One Piece, but yeah. I love going to things blind. Yeah, so I gave you three options different books from the same author. It was going to be either a La one, a Zorro, or Doflamingo. And you chose La for this reading. <laughs> Which I'm so I, proud of you. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I have taste. I was as long as you didn't pick fucking Doflamingo, <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> I was I was real tempted, not gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. Dude, I don't know why I fucking- I don't know why people like him. He's an asshole. The, the fan art's good. The fan art's good. Sure. That doesn't make him not a terrible person. I mean... Uh... You know, I can't really defend myself <laughs> in my choices. Yeah. Because I've had a lot of choices. Yeah. <laughs> you want to explain what those choices are? Um... You know what? I am regretting <laughs> putting uh, Slowpoke at such a low tier. <laughs> Last time, I still think about it. Yeah, it haunts your nightmares. And it, might be, it does, it does. I woke up, cold sweat, 3 a.m. <laughs> I just like, I shouldn't have done it. You could have a cold demon. sweat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, alrighty. So this one's called Wake Up, Law X Reader. And it's part of the Love World set, which this author has five other books, each featuring their own uh, One Piece Boy X reader. So, but this one features Law, so that's the only one that's important. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the other one's pretty important. It's like a Sanji X reader. That one's really good. I like that. <laughs> but uh, let's see. The description reads uh, Being made to work in emergency was not his plan. But of all the things he didn't expect, you were the most surprising of all of them. I do not know any of the characters in this story. <laughs> Alrighty. I cannot wait. Alright, it looks like we have a we have to build our own OC. So for these, uh, we don't use mine or the guest name. We build a shitty OC. So we get to make this character as stupid looking as possible. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So let's let's start with the basic. What's what's her? What's this girl's first name? Um. Hmm. I'm looking around the room. <laughs> Pliers. Pliers. Okay. 
Why? How you fucking spell pliers? <laughs> oh gosh, you asked the wrong person. <laughs> I think it's P L. Okay. I E R S. E R S. Okay. Alrighty. Does that look right? Does it look right? I'm gonna oh, hold on. Well, hold on. <laughs> pliers. That is not what I said. <laughs> what, what is it? What is it? It brought up plies and it brought up an American rapper. <laughs> that is not what I said. Pliers. Okay. Pliers. God damn it. Fuck you. Fine. If that's how you spell it, I guess. Alright. Uh, Wyan, uh, last name. Oh gosh. Pliers what? Oh gosh. I have no clue. Literally about to go carpet, but... <laughs> Liar's carpet. <laughs> no, I feel like it needs to flow a little better. Yeah. Could you imagine we just give him a really normal last name? Yeah, like Smith? Thompson. Thompson? <laughs> yeah, Pliers Thompson. I'm, I'm guessing T-O-M-S-O-N? Isn't that T-H? Oh, I... Like Oh, that looks so much better, yeah. <laughs> oh. Look All right. at me, spelling genius. Alright, hair length. How long this bitch's hair? Floor length. <laughs> floor? Yeah, the floor. Fuck, I can't spell floor length. <laughs> <laughs> Did you spell the U? No, I just forgot the, like, the G. <laughs> oh. Alright, hair color. I'm thinking blue. What? Oh, it's gonna be like what color? It's Law's hair. Cause I don't. I don't. Oh, it's black. I don't remember what he looks like. Bro, I sent you my my favorite poster. I <laughs> you had did, but I don't remember. It's like it's black. Okay. What did you want to match? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was gonna be like opposite. Cause I feel like that's smart. Oh, right? like white? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, white hair. <laughs> Eye color. Amber. Purple. Pur oh. I feel like amber will look pretty cool. No, one amber, one amber, one purple. <laughs> yeah. Amber <laughs> slash purple. <laughs> Skin like color. Half and half, right down the retina. Yeah. Oh gosh. Skin color. I feel like she'll look cool tan. Tan? Yeah, tan. I was. When I was- when I was thinking white and purple, I was- I'm still thinking about the last unicorn, for some reason. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie? Nope. Okay, dang. <laughs> Favorite color? Pink. Pink. <laughs> I'm gonna spell it like that, too. <laughs> Yeah, seven- P seven eyes? Oh shit, hold on. Hold on. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> and then two N's. And, and two then ends. an abrupt K. An abrupt K. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and then... <laughs> favorite food. Gotta make- Gotta give her like a-, a... <laughs> I was gonna say a red flag. I was gonna be like meatloaf. <laughs> but I don't want to offend any of the meatloaf lovers. Dude, fucking meatloaf oh sucks. God. That's her- that's her, like... <laughs> that's like the red flag of her. <laughs> she oh likes gosh. meatloaf. <laughs> alright, alright, so... Last name, Thompson. First name, Pliers. Alright, hair length, Floor. I- I kinda <laughs> wanna give her a different name. I- like, I kinda wanna try on her a little bit. Alright. Hair color, name white. Penny. Penny, Penny Thompson. Yeah, there we go. That's oh, a name. Yeah. Hair, eye color, amber slash purple. We're keeping that. Skin color, tan. Favorite color, pink. <laughs> Favorite food, meatloaf. <laughs> Alrighty. I cannot wait. Chapter one. Alright, uh, what should I flip to see who goes first? Oh gosh. Are we going my paragraphs? Probably do every two paragraphs. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Let me flip my brush. Do you want to be the bristles or the backside? Um, <laughs> I'll be the bristles. Okay. It's the bristles. No. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me take a sip of water before I like die. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let him cook, let him cook. <laughs> I'm gonna spit out this water. But a choke. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a minute. My brain. Squeeboo! <laughs> it's like the alarm from SpongeBob <laughs> when you get called on for class. Oh, like, is it like the scene where they're all running around panicking and yeah, shit and fire? everything's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. I'm like, literally, you're gonna have to cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I can read first. I don't, I don't mind. Yes, yes, please, yes, please. Right, I'll let your brain yes. prepare. <laughs> I'm, I'm not prepared. This is a very difficult task. <laughs> Law was about to lose his mind. He was one of the best doctors in the country, and yet, they didn't appreciate his hard work. He had saved a lot of people using his own techniques, but he couldn't save one man's life. The board directors, though, through his methods, were reckless and ne neglectful, even though they had proven to work before. So, bef because firing him will be a shame on their hospital, they punished him by making him work in the emergency department for a whole month, plus dealing with his normal surgeries. It had been only three days, and he was about to crack. The nurses were highly incompetent, trying to flirt in the middle of the patient's treatment. The emergency department chief was a pain in the ass, and, be and because how now he worked next to Sachi and Penguin, he had no peace at all. La, I heard you did good on your surgery, said one of the young nurses as he walked past her. He just ignored her and kept walking to the break room. He usually didn't care not resting or eating for a long time, but it had been so long since he had a small break that it was. Just, but he was just ignoring everything that was between him and that espresso machine. In the moment he got to the break room, his eyes scanned every corner, every corner of the counter looking for the machine, but it was not there. No, not the espresso. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had an espresso? I'm not. I always get a nice coffee. Ah, uh, gotcha. It's being repaired, said Sachi, who was eating an, a nice sandwich next to the Penguin. Even though Law couldn't stand them from time to time, they were the closest thing to a friend that Law had. We bought you some coffee, though. You look more exhausted than usual, Penguin offered him the plastic cup. As he sat next to him, Law drank it slowly, yet neatly. Thanks, he managed to say without taking his eyes from the cup. <laughs> Alright, you good You good to start? <laughs> okay, okay. L let's hope so. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. Oh my god, I... You have a... So there. You never mind. I take it back. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> you should have a small nap, Sachi said. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to die. <laughs> Law glanced at him and then returned his gaze to the coffee with a serious look. You know, you can always go to the cave. Law almost choked thinking about sleeping there. The cave, or don't room, was made for workers at the hospital to rest in difficult situations or between turns. But since he can remember, that place is just somewhere people go to get laid, smoke, or almost move in. He found that place disgusting. Two doctors were currently settled in there like they were living there, so... Part of it was always a mess. You could always smell bodily fluids and tobacco there, and the chief of emergency department was constantly there, waking people up to put them to work, even when it wasn't. They weren't on their turn. Law slept one time there, but was awakened by the sound of people kissing each other a little too much and couldn't go back again. <laughs> Man got fucking traumatized. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> What are you talking about, Sachi? Said Penguin, hitting him slightly on the shoulder. That place is disgusting, even for you. Sachi hit him back. If you want to get some nice rest, you should go to room 207. It's quiet there, and no one ever goes there. What's so special about that room? Sachi asked. You're always talking about how nice it is and how we should have lunch there. I quietly listened. It's just nice. You can totally go one day. 
he said, biting Sashi's sandwich. Like if his day couldn't get busier, Love's beeper went nuts. Love checked it instead. Surgery? He nodded, leaving the cup of coffee and walking away. He's so cute! I want to be a nurse in his, in one of his cases, said a nurse in the break room. Maybe that way he can ask me for a date. <laughs> man, everyone's, everyone's wanting this man. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I can always take you for a date, says Sashi, seductively overhearing the nurse's conversation. The nurse gave him a disgusted face. <laughs> Get lost, Sachi. Damn. Bro got no riz. Negative riz. Negative riz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he needs to plant some riz seeds. <laughs> it took Law five hours to finish the open heart surgery on an elderly woman. This, this were the easy ones. He could be hours in the surgery room, and the time would fly as he tried his, his best in big cases. But since he had started doing this, these small things to pay back his mistake, something as simple as that would make him feel like he had spent days there. In fact, he has been, he had been the past three days there. He was waiting until the emergency department chief would give him a green light to go home. The first day when he was about to leave, he was blocking the exit and threatened to tell the board directors, which would have caused him to stay more than a month in emergencies. Damn, they're fucking abusing this guy. I, I feel like this isn't legal. <laughs> Uh, probably not, but I mean, it is the medical field. Yeah. I mean, I guess you always have to be on call, but you gotta go home at some point. Oh, gosh. Trafalgar. The chief had just entered the surgery room where Law was removing the, his body scrubs and medical gloves. Well done, you can leave after you help me with the surgery in three hours. Be sure to rest a little. You look like a car hit you. Law nodded annoyed and cursed him under his breath when he left. Still, he felt relieved knowing he would be sleeping in his own house soon. He walked out of the surgery room and directed himself to the cave. He wasn't even that close to the door when he heard loud noises coming from inside and in annoyance he turned back in his feet to the break room. <laughs> Man, he was about to open that door and he was like, no. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Just like, no. Who knows who's behind that door? Yeah. <laughs> who knows what they're doing? <laughs> Maybe a nap on the sofa that was in there would be enough. But when he got there, a lot of nurses and doctors were there to his dismay. He eyed inside looking for Penguin, who was luckily getting a snack from the vending machine. Penguin, yeah? He, he asked him. Penguin turned to see the exhausted man. What did you say earlier about room 207? Penguin slid the, the door with... Yeah, slid the door with... Number 207. It was calm and quiet if you ignored the heart the heart monitor sound in the background. When he got inside, Law understood why it was so quiet. A young lady with messy white lad with a messy white lad in the hospital chair. From what he could see, it was a what the fuck does that <laughs> whatever in in the in the feet of her bed. She was in a comatose state. Law gave Penguin in a Tensive look demanding an answer. What? He said. But Law just raised an eyebrow. Oh, her? She was she's been here for some time. Got into a car crash and hasn't woken up yet. I see that, Law said ironically. Why do you come here? Well, I changed her meds and figured out that no one comes to visit her, so it's a nice place to stay. Law eyed some comics underneath the patient's bed, obviously from Penguin. He looked around the room and spotted the the chair, the room chair with some cushions. There's a blanket under that counter if you want to. For how long have you been doing this? La asked out of pure curiosity. He hadn't noticed Penguin missing a day or, or not being able to work. Wait, fuck. <laughs> he hadn't noticed Penguin missing a day or not being, not being working in his turn. It was surprising to know he had made a small break room for himself there and no one had noticed. Like a month that she she got interned. So, maybe more or less eight months? Penguin looked at the sleeping girl. Isn't she cute? She looks so angelic. Like she, well, she, like she's sleeping. Well, I couldn't help but, but to look at the girl. Now that he looked at her more properly, she was cute. Cute. 
He repeated that word in his mind before dismissing it completely. I'll leave you to rest a bit, Penguin said, heading out. Ma looked at the door, getting closed, and then at his watch. He could sleep a good 45 minute nap and eat something before prepping himself for surgery. He, his glance met her face again, maybe out of curiosity or mere impulse. He looked again at the file at the bottom of her bed and looked at her name. Penny Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this comment? It says this comment may be offensive. <laughs> what? Is, no, what is it? It said, it's shut, shut up, you ugly whores, built like a rain over Bugs Bunny as dumb fish don't even got a dump truck. <laughs> what? I, I love Wattpad comments. They're, they're so lovely. <laughs> One thing I love about Wattpad is you could comment on something real specific. Like, you could underline a line and then it's just, like, comment on it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good for, like, whenever I read, like, like a gay ship for one of these episodes, I'll, like, <laughs> we'll read something that's a little bit fruity and then off to the side will be a hundred comments being like, that's pretty gay. <laughs> 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 it's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we gotta find one next time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's plenty of gay ships in One Piece. I, I can, I can slide you that. <laughs> Gosh, now I gotta download Wattpad. Like, I'm intrigued. Yeah, no, no, you should probably like, do. You could probably uh, start watching One Piece. You know what? How about I don't do that? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, that's, how many episodes is it? Like eight bajillion? One thousand and. Oh my god. 30. <laughs> if, if someone paid me, if I got paid minimum wage to watch One Piece, I would. You know what? If it was like a job to watch One Piece, <laughs> write a synopsis on every 10 episodes, I'd do it. But I don't know if I, I, don't, I, don't know if I have the strength. <laughs> I don't know if I, I have the heart to go on. <laughs> what if I send you a bunch of edits? Would that make you like, you know what? Watch One maybe, Piece? maybe. I do love me some good TikTok edits. You know what? I can. We can watch it together. I can. I can restart watching it. Restart. What episode are you on? I'm on like six hundred and seventy-four. Oh my god! You might as well just stab me. My, <laughs> my appendix may as well rupture. It's god. really good. <laughs> I can't do it. I think the one anime I ever watched that was like, it's not super long because just based on the episode you're on. <laughs> <laughs> You're on. It's like half it was like fairy tale, and that is that's all I can do. Damn, that's all I can do. Dude, what what people recommend for One Piece is that I think it's episode thirty five, and if you don't want to watch it after that, then they won't press you anymore. But you gotta at least get up to that part, because that's when they really like. That's when you really get hooked into One Piece. Is that what happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> Who did that to you? Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I watched I watched the the film Red first, and I'm like, I, I had no fucking idea what was going on, and like I was I kept thinking about One Piece afterwards and how cool it was watching the movie, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should pick up One Piece, and then I did, and then I, I never looked back. <laughs> So maybe I gotta do the same thing for you, where I show you the film Red, and, <laughs> and then have you watch One Piece. Oh god. I'm just saying. Cool adventure? Hot dudes. That's all you need. <laughs> I'm... I don't want to say I'm not a fan of the animation style, but I'm not a fan of the animation style. <gasps> it gets better! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It gets better. Well, it's made in like 19 something. I mean, there's only so many good, like, animation you could do back then. <laughs> um, Sailor Moon exists. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Alrighty. Do you want to try reading chapter I'll try. two? I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Let's see. I'm so bad at reading. You got this, dude. You got this. <laughs> but before I hyperventilate. <laughs> it was almost over. The month working in emergencies ended in just two days. Nonetheless, Law had been working like a slave all around the hospital. Due to his punishment, 
doctors were jealous of his work, had taken advantage of him, and had taken a lot of his important surgeries. Law was furious and ready to stab each and every one of them. He could have done it if Sachi and Penguin hadn't stopped him before. Still, <laughs> he was going to make sure to have a revenge with all of those doctors who dared to intervene with his work. They will pay. Do I read too fast? No, that's that perfect. You got it. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Law's beeper called him into surgeries. He stood up from the he stood up from the small comfortable chair and left his cup of coffee on the small table next to his newspaper. He walked to the door and looked back before leaving. Yes, he was in room two oh seven. He found his place re- he found the place relaxing and quiet, just like his office that was confiscated until the month was over. Penguin had no problem with him being there and had even left him to be alone whenever he needed to. Law went there when the chief of emergencies was really getting on his nerves, when the nurses were too much for him or just avoiding talking to people in general. He's just like me for real, for real. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to remember what names we chose. It's Penny, yeah. Okay, yeah. Penny's company was just what Law needed. She didn't talk or make unnecessary or annoying noises like most people. Law had found himself enjoying the company of a girl in a coma just because she was, well, not awake. Still, Law had asked himself from time to time, how would she be if she was awake? How do you say that? Dr. Trafalgar? Trafalgar. Trafalgar. Yeah. Dr. Trafalgar. Meet Miss <laughs> the chief. <laughs> the chief said, opening the curtain to reveal the patient. Law hated that. He would drag him to emergency and would not tell him a thing until he'd opened the curtain, like revealing a great show. Thirty-eight years old, healthy, fell off a rock climbing park and a cut and cut herself on a pointy rock. Miss Smith needed some st- stitches. Get on with it. Only stitches. The chief turned to him. Is either stitches or helping Doctor Abram. Getting a tube out of someone's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Hey, I guess it's emergency department. I guess that qualifies as an emergency. <laughs> oh, they should have prevented that emergency. <laughs> Not them, but like, why are you. Dude, people are into some kinky shit. Sometimes it just goes too far. <laughs> is it is it kinky shit or is it like just uh, colonoscopy? I... Don't they put a tube in you for that? I've never. Well, this is getting a tube out of someone's rectum, so I'm thinking maybe they put it in there and then it got lost. It got lost? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Be a doctor. Alright, I gotta go to school for eight months, like eight years. <laughs> I got a PhD. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta speed run in eight months. Yeah, no, I don't think I can speed run being a it. doctor in eight months. Yeah, I, you could do it. Just don't sleep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll do the stitches. The chief nodded and walked away with a smirk on his face while Law got his equipment ready. He sat in the fr- he sat in front of the patient, Miss Smith. Did you happen to wash your wound? Yes. Is everything okay, doctor? Yes, the wound looks clean. I'll be stitching you up right away. Law took no time starting his job, stitching like a professional. He had done this a lot of times before, and now he could do it with no problem and professionalism. He could feel the stare of the woman that made him uncomfortable. He finished and cleaned everything. Miss Smith, you'll have to clean the womb with this antibiotic ointment to prevent an infection. Change your bandage every eight hours and come back in a week to remove them. Law gave her the prescription. I hope we'll see you in a week then, said Miss Smith, taking the prescription. Law began writing on her file as she slow as she slowly began standing. She saw Law ignoring her and she tripped herself on purpose, trying to make him noticed, but was caught by another pair of arms. <laughs> Sachi smiled happily while the woman pushed him away. Ugh! She walked away annoyed. <laughs> wait a minute, I gotta- wait, let me look up what the fuck this guy looks like again. I don't think he's that bad looking. I don't know what he looks like at all. I Sachi, you know. One Piece. I can't remember what exactly- oh, they spelt his fucking name wrong. He's not that bad looking, I mean- Oh, dang. I mean, he's alright. He literally- Wait, let me let me make sure I'm getting the right photo. Literally just a guy. He's just a guy, man. He's he's, he's just, just a, a boy. Just a boy with a Whoa, dream. Some of, this, some of this fan art. I love fan art. Yeah. 
I know people really like Penguin. Penguin's everyone's favorite. From, mm -hmm. uh... Who isn't the captain of the Hard Pirates, and that's everyone else's favorite. Mm-hmm. Okay. Man, how do you get all the pretty ladies? Sachi's, Sachi said, approaching Law. You're not even in your workplace area. That's so unfair. Sachi got a candy bar out of his pocket and offered it to Law, who since had worked there and rejected it. Candy was not one of his favorite things. Can you read that right? Okay. Yeah. I gotta remember. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go home now. Law said, standing up. Bibo needs to go for a walk at if I don't leave now, Henry would find something for me to do. He's been giving you easy stuff for the last three days, Law. Sachi complained. He's gonna miss you when you leave. Like you were here stitching Miss Nice Ass while Dr. Abram was doing God knows what to that man's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that poor man's asshole. <laughs> How lucky, Law said sar sarcastically. If that's the case, I hope it'll be like that tomorrow, too. It was not the case. <laughs> the cheese... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the fucking the record scratch. <laughs> <laughs> the chief had to save the best and worst for last. He had treated a boy who was so high he stabbed himself, <laughs> helped in a car crash accident, had a four hour surgery, gave stitches to a guy in a, skate in a skateboard, got into a surgery again for three hours, treated a guy from a fire, got a Lego piece out of a kid's throat, and took out a candle from someone's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Just when the day couldn't get any worse, Chief of the R was looking for him. Looking for him everywhere to help with the diarrhea problem of one of his patients. So Law did the only logical thing he could do and hid in room 207. <laughs> Me too. I would hide if I had to clean up someone else's diarrhea. <laughs> Gosh. I'm glad I never wanted to be into like the medical field. Yeah, this sounds like a nightmare. I, like, I don't know if it... I'm, this is probably not accurate, but, like, I mean, either way. Yeah. I, I don't think... I don't think he can do it. He walked in just in time to avoid the chief's gaze, scanning through every corner of the hallway inside the room. Law was even hiding in the bathroom of one of the, of one of the rooms after he peeked out and saw no hint of someone entering the room. He was not going to have that humiliation in his last day here. He was going to leave with his dignity as clean as he could. Law walked out of the bathroom carefully and looked into the small window in the room's door. He saw the chief walking away. He mediated what to do, and if he could get out of the hospital before nine, he would probably find the chief in he'd probably find the chief in an exit and would be asked to stay more time stay for more time in the ER. So he decided to stay there one more time. It was his last day after all. Maybe spending one more time here would help him transition to his more calm duties in his office, having peace on the last day. He didn't have any coffee or his newspaper, so maybe taking a nap was, wasn't a bad idea. He sat on his chair for a while and closed his eyes. It was like meditating. His, this silence was reassuring. Even the beeping sound of the heart monitor seemed to help him get into that deep state of... A cough. A voice caught caught him off guard. He opened his eyes and saw no one. He closed, so he closed them again. Maybe it was his imagination. Sir, he opened his eyes again, annoyed, but found the girl who was in a coma trying to speak. Sir, can you help me? Where am I? Law stood up like a bullet and walked walked to the girl whose heartbeat began to increase. What happened to me? Where am I? Miss Thompson, stay calm. You're in a hospital. <laughs> You're waking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you're waking up from a coma. Law called the nurses. You're gonna be all right. The girl was in a panic state. She kept asking and not understanding what was happening around her. Some of the nurses, including Payman, walked away and tried to calm her down. While Law asked to attend, Law was asked to attend to other duties because she was not his patient. Still, he waited there until Penguin walked out of the room with the other nurses. Penguin stood next to his colleague and gave him a brief pat on the shoulder. Sleeping Beauty just woke up. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! She's not dead! I love this comment. It's like, I bet that candle broke off in that man's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my gosh! Oh, Wattpad comments are so funny. And they will never oh my not be funny. This, this one says, I look pretty for a dead bitch. <laughs> 
I look pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> Alright, chapter three. What the fuck am I getting myself into? I'll go. Oh, I thought I, you said that, and I'm just like, no, there better not come in. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The lemon does so not come scared. in yet. I was so scared. Just like, boom, jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stop it, Beppo, yeah? I need to get to work. Locke kept trying to push Beppo's head inside the apartment, but Beppo kept trying to get out, growling and whimping. I'll be back by afternoon, I promise. Law patted his head, and Beppo slowly slid inside the apartment, leaving Law with a satisfied smirk. He took his briefcase from the floor and walked away from after locking his door. He stepped onto the elevator, which was rather un with a rational, unusual, good attitude. Today, he was recovering all of his patients, surgeries, and his precious office. Even when he got into his car, he felt like this positive feeling about that day. Maybe it was the smell of the sweet revenge he was going to spread to all the doctors who even dared to ask for his surgeries. Well, maybe only the ones who actually sold them. It will depend on how he felt by the, end of, by the rest of the day. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Trafal Trafalgar. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Akaku? Yeah, Akaku said. The board left this vase of flowers and this nice basket of goodies. Law walked to Akaku's desk and read the card on the basket. Welcome back, Dr. Trafalgar. Have a nice day. Law read it with disgust. It was such a stupid way to try to whim him back after that nightmare-fueled month. Gifts, the gifts seemed to be kind of expensive, and the flowers were pretty and fresh. Send the basket to Sashi and Penguin and keep the flowers. Thank you. I'll send the basket right away. Haku took the vase and placed it on to adore her to adore her desk. By the way, I moved the appointments to Miss Miller's case at least four times so you can attend her tomorrow. And you had the surgery have a surgery at 3 p.m. Is that all? Ataku nodded. Thank you. He was feeling good today, despite that ridiculous basket. He entered the office and breathed in like he was breathing fresh air, but he felt like it. It was his place. He wasted no time working on his past files and filling in on information about his patients. It was actually messy. Other doctors had used his files for the patients he was treating and had put every and they had put everything back. Now that he was back, he noticed everything on his patient on on 213 was messed up and he needed to check up on him again. He took his file and exited his office and somehow now beginning to bug him. Maybe after all, everyone will have his revenge. <laughs> man, this man's fucking vengeful. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, you know what? I would too. <laughs> don't they get paid by surgery or some shit like that? Or did they get like extra? I don't I think they, I don't, I don't know. I thought they were salary. Yeah, maybe they get something. extra for doing surgeries. Because that, that'd be the only reason why they would ask for, like, to take them. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not a fucking doctor. Do you know any doctors? Yeah, I don't know a doctor. I'll, you don't know any doctors? I don't know any friends. Surgeon? <laughs> I am a surgeon. No, I don't know any. <laughs> I, like, all Cameron's friends are computer science majors, and I don't know computer any friends. Science. Yeah. And I don't have any um, other friends on my side that are in the nursing field, so... I'm no. not in any field. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like that. <laughs> hey, Law. Sashi stopped him in his tracks. We got the basket. Are you sure you don't want it? There's some fancy stuff in there. It's okay, Sashi, yeah. You can have it, Ben. You can have it. But share it with Penguin, yeah, too. Law noticed Sashi had the basket by himself. Where is he? It was rather weird seeing the, both of them apart by that by that time of the day. They had lunch together all the time. He was making paperwork of one of his patients, Sashi said. I'm actually waiting for him. He's there. Sashi pointed at the room not far away from them. Room 207. Law couldn't get rid of the of the thought of getting inside that room. Maybe it was how peaceful it was. Maybe he wanted to see if if that had changed. How she was. That patient is weird though. Penguin hadn't even been able to contact her family and no one had visited her so far. Sashi was right about that. Penguin had mentioned it before and he had not 
found a single hint of someone going there, except for the nurses and Penguin when he hid out in there. Penguin walked out, waving at Sashi and Law. Thank you for the basket, Law. Penguin wasted no time taking the expensive bar of chocolate. You didn't have to. It's no problem. Law was curious. How was patient, um, 207 doing? As usual in these situations, she remembers just some things about the accident, and she's still a little off. Law looked at the room. But now I know what, who to call. Penguin waved the paper in, with a number in front of Sachi's face. Whose number is that? Sachi said, taking the paper out of Penguin's hand. The company she works for. Penguin took the number from Sachi's hands and placed it in his white coat. Apparently, she's a writer for, of some sort. They're ones who have been paying her bills. Dang. Yo. Hold up. They gotta, they gotta really, she gotta be a really good writer. Yeah. Like, you're in a coma for what, eight months? And they're like, hey, we're gonna take care of all your bills. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that must be real nice. Like, dang. What company is this? Yeah, can I apply? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But that is so wild. I thought, like, before, before they were talking, before it said that they had handled her stuff, I'm just like, how does she still work there? They would have probably terminated me. I feel <laughs> like, like that would have been so mean. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you can't do that. <laughs> if they're like, your yeah. employees in a coma, I don't think you can just fire them. It's not their fault. <laughs> I mean, I mean. <clears throat> mm, I don't know, they, some shitty companies probably done that before. I know my company would do that. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Lucky her. The hospital won't pay me shit for this. Sashi complained. Is that the file the guy in room 213? Ma looked at the file in his hand and nodded. Is is he the paralyzed one? Sashi asked and Penguin nodded. The other one who, who made his hand move? Ma nodded again. Can we see the file? Penguin asked. Sure. Aunt gave them the file. If he gives me a change to make another surgery, he might move his whole torso. Law pointed at something in the file for them to see while something caught his attention from the corner of his eye. The door on the door to 207 opened. It took a few seconds for the girl to walk outside. Just like Penguin said, she was so kind of off and couldn't comprehend completely what had happened. Law was fast on getting to her and trying to make her get to get back on bed. Miss Thompson, you need to get back to rest. It's not good to, for you to walk in these conditions. Penguin and Sashi followed him quickly as the three of them carried her back to the ho hospital bed. I almost said the hotel bed! <laughs> oh my gosh! I was like, not there yet! <laughs> for some reason, I was thinking of the Pitbull song! <laughs> <laughs> no! Not hotel room! <laughs> We're not far enough for them to be in hotels. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's chapter 20. <laughs> oh, God. Do I know you? Penny asked Law. Your voice sounds like my uncle's. She's not in the good state of mind yet, Penguin said, but the girl had listened to him and slapped him. Don't call a lady crazy, she said, crossing her arms. People here are rude. Where am I? What, we have fucking dementia? <laughs> oh my god! It's been 17 days! I'm still trying to get out of here! <laughs> the hospital's the back room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sachi chuckled while Penguin touched, touched his slap cheek. Miss Penny, you're in a hospital. You woke up from a coma yesterday, Law said after giving Penguin an ice pack from the small freezer in the room. Penny was quiet. Like she had suddenly understood what was happening. Something had clicked on her. How long have I been out? Her voice was surprised to the three of them. It was calm and serious and steady. Nine months after a car crash, Penguin said. Your car suddenly stopped in the road. Was it raining? She asked, trying to remember. She was clearly struggling. <laughs> oh dang, that was a little rude. Yeah. She was clearly but not in the right headspace for this shit. <laughs> Heavily. A truck couldn't see you and crashed. Penguin and Sashi approached her. We're here to take care of you. Apparently your bills are paid, and don't, so don't worry about a thing if, if everything is alright. 
We'll dismiss you by the end of the week. You're going to have to come to follow up everything to assure that everything is going fine, Sachi said. But as far as your tests have shown, you're relatively okay. Lao just stood there. He was jealous of Sachi and Penguin. He has always he's, he has always been. He, they had a way of talking to their patients that looked so natural and sincere, even when they didn't know them at all. They had the way to be sympathetic that Law could never achieve. For a long time, he struggled with that, and in the end, he gave up. Understanding people was really hard, and he didn't have the time. <laughs> Sounds like an introvert. Oh gosh. His. This would have caused him to be sent to the ER. His lack of empathy had made him push a patient into surgery that was too risky. But still, he won't admit it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, what? Yeah, that, that's how he got there. Like, he, the, the patient died during surgery, and they were like, we can't fire him, because that'll look really bad. Let's just send him to the ER for, like, a month. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can't believe I missed this. Yeah, that was like right at the beginning, dude. I know! <laughs> I'll go rest then, Penny said after they explained everything. Thank you. What are your names? Sachi and Penguin, they said, making weird poses to impress her and cheer her up. And that's Dr. Trafalgar. Law interrupted them. He didn't want to look unprofessional, unlike them. He wanted people to take them seriously. Thank you. Penny gave them a, I don't fucking know how to pronounce that, a sweet melancholy, melancholy smile. There was a lot going on in her head. Dr. Trafalgar? Hmm? Are you sure we haven't met before? Her eyes pierced his. Your voice sounds familiar. Ooh, we're gonna get lore! <laughs> lore, the backstory. Yay! Chapter 4, probably the last one that we do for this session. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we gotta write a fanfiction. I feel inspired. Yeah, we can. Usually yeah, after I have a guess for a while, I make this wheel for us to spin that determines what we read. Some of them I have write a fanfiction. Oh? So we could. You know, it could be a possibility. <laughs> what will we write it on, though? Oh gosh, I have no clue. We're both in the clone high. We could write a clone high one. Oh god. <laughs> I know so little about a clone high. Oh shit. <laughs> I like don't know anything. We don't have like a mutual fandom. Shit. What, what's wrong with us? I don't know. I just binged watched all of Transformers Earth Spark. <laughs> like I just finished like the third season all today. Do I need to get into Transformers? <laughs> Transformers? Do I feel like I have to. You know what? I mean, if you want, you can start with, start with, um, I, well, not gonna lie, I haven't been in Transformers that long. I watched mm -hmm. Rise of the Beast, Bumblebee, and now I'm like, I finished Earth Spark. I've already seen a bit of Robots in Disguise and Rescue Bots, hmm. and right now I am watching, <laughs> um, Cyberverse, but that's a whole other topic. Let's get back to this. <laughs> Chapter 4. Chapter 4. It's been a weird day. Everything with the patient on 207, fixing all his files, having some of his surgeries, and stealing one or two patients from other doctors who, didn't, who did the same. He was glad that he got to go home early that day. That meant he could walk Bebo through the park, and he liked the, through the park he liked near the library. Bebo was waiting for him like always when he got home. Law left his suitcase, grabbed an apple, and took Bebo's leash. Bebo was already jumping and running around excited by the upcoming walk. Law would always have a soft spot for Bebo. It was, it was his best company. He would be obedient and quiet, yet his fluffy personality made heart, Law's heart melt. Come on, Bebo. Law attached the leash to Bebo's collar. Let's get, let's get out of here, shall we? Long walks with Bebo were Law's best part of the week. It was a time to reflect and think, usually about what he could, what he could do with his patient, patience. Sometimes about his life, but lately about his failed case. He wouldn't admit that it was his fault. If only he, if he had only let me do it earlier. That thought had flooded his mind too many times, but he dismissed it as he could never, as he, gosh, he dismissed it as much as he could. 
He couldn't... Gosh, hold up. He couldn't keep thinking about his mistake, or he would not get over it. After walking for an hour, Law decided to head home with Bebo, and just when they got home, he got a message from Dr. Hogback. How dare you steal my patient, you stupid dumbass! <laughs> you can't do this to me! At 8.27. I already did, and you should think twice about after stealing my surgeries. Law smiled nicely as he left his phone on the counter. At this pace, <laughs> he'll recover his place place as the surgeon in no time. He was not to be he was not one to be played with, and the other doctors had messed had messed that up by taking advantage of his situation that past month. He'd been pulling strings to steal some patients that day, as so far he had three new ones. He only knew one of them who one of them was, and he was waiting for Ikaku to send them the details. In the meantime, he had to study more about the new case that he stole, so he went directly to his studio to start digging. John Smith, 23, spinal osteomyelitis. Hell yeah. Lost mouth. Yeah. Oh, so smart. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was so big brain of you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Law smiled to himself. He had stolen a challenging case and couldn't be more satisfied. He began, he began taking notes about the surgery and when to program it after introducing himself to the patient. I'll ask Ikaku to make the surgery as fast as possible. He said, writing something down before his phone received another message. He frowned, not wanting to speak to anyone right now, but his phone kept buzzing loud enough but not enough to hear it. For God's sake. Lost, Lost stood angrily and picked up his phone to silence it, but the encounter, but to encounter an email from Akaku herself. He wasted no time opening it after seeing the subject. Your new patient's information. His frown turned into a smirk as he silenced his phone and walked back to his study to use his computer. Your new patient's information. Sorry for the delay. It took some time to get the documents from Dr. Hogback. I've added just general information, but you'll get the full records tomorrow morning on your desk. 35-year-old man, trouble breathing for three weeks already with no effect so far on medication. A checkup revealed a weird mass in one of his lungs, and it requires surgery to get a sample of this mass as soon as possible. 25-year-old woman, got a concussion after a car crash leading to nine-month coma. Lost up reading. It couldn't be. After three brain surgeries to repair damage during the time the patient woke up and needed to be be, needed to be checked until she was determined stable, Law met, massaged his temple, trying to understand what what he did for him to have this that patient. He got the wrong case from Doctor Korea. Korea, or she tricked him, knowing he was knowing what he was doing. I'm not barking. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Bebo entered the study room like as Bebo entered the study room as if he felt Law's stress. I screwed up Bebo. Bebo sat and stared at Law with puppy eyes. You dogs have it easy. You don't have to deal with people like Korea that Korea witch. Just do it already. Law had been standing in front of room two oh seven for five minutes now. He had put ex- he had put on excuses for not going there all day by doing as much as he could to leave it for later later, but now he had nothing to do. Even after six after a six hour surgery, but at one point he had even thought of returning to the returning the case, but Korea wouldn't accept it back. No one was really interested in having it, so he was stuck with a stupid case with someone he had no intentions on interacting with. Damn, I can't believe we didn't seduce him with our white hair and weird color eyes. Well, I mean, he maybe he didn't see our eyes. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. We'll, maybe it was dark we'll, in we'll there. We'll get him soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna go in? Penguin said, standing behind Law. He needed to take care of her meds, and Law had been had been in the way for much, t- for far too long. Law sighed and opened the door, and got inside, being followed by Penguin. Thanks. Good evening, Penny. How are you feeling? Better, I think. I recall more things. Penguin smiled. While Law was, while well, Law just stood there for a moment, he could see that she'd been crying, or maybe the medication made her eyes swollen. He'll have to ask her. Her face was kind of pale, and her food was barely touched. Still, a notebook with at least 20 pages was scattered all around her bed, all filled up with words. Penny, do you remember Mr. 
Oh. Mr. Trafalgar? I can never remember. My bad. Mr. Trafal- Dr. Trafalgar. She nodded. He'll take your case until you're completely okay. Penguin said knowing Law was still too deep in his thought to actually say something. I hope you- <laughs> I hope you can get me fixed, Penny said kindly. Penny smiled kindly. How are you feeling? He said coolly. Does your head hurt? Any problem sleeping? Or perhaps waking up? Law looked at her records and everything looked fine so far. I feel dizzy from time to time, she said in a slow voice, which I cannot replicate because I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the medication, he pointed out, but it, but you could you can feel better if you'll feel better if you actually eat. Or at least you'll have the energy to ease the medication symptoms. He turned to see an overwhelmed girl. I guess your stomach is still getting used to receiving real food. I'll change your medications to something lighter. It would, but it would be, but it could be at the cost of some of your sleep. I prefer that, please, she said. She felt the room was kind of moving 50% of the time, and that would make it hard for her to write in her notepad when her hand trembled because of it. Then I won't give you these. Then I won't give you these said Penguin, putting them back in the meds car. Which med should I give her, Law? I mean, Dr. Trafalgar. Law gave him a killer look that Penguin tried to ignore, even when his bait gaze was burning. <laughs> I'll give you the list, Law said to Penguin. I'll be back tomorrow to see how things are going with the new medication. Law took the records and began walking out of the room, followed by Penguin. Dr. Trafalgar, Law stopped turned to see the weak girl with a bright smile. Thank you. You're welcome. He answered, leaving the room as he took his prescription book with his from his coat to write the medicine. Law, are you blushing? <laughs> Law looked up at Penguin, who had, who had that annoyingly playful smile. What? Oh, shit. Little boy's blushing. Wait, looked up at Penguin. I thought your father was- How tall was Penguin? Uh, I, I, maybe he was just looking down. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure the, the lost dollar. <laughs> I was like, huh? Yeah. There ain't no way you call my boy short. There ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> Your man. Not my man. <laughs> so, what you think? Did you love um, it? <laughs> I did, you know, we haven't got- how many chapters? That was four. Like, n I mean, in total. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. 34. 30, wait. 30, 29. 7, 29? Yeah. Well, I'm there's a special, read. so technically 30. Oh, you're making me second guess this shit now. Yeah, there is 30, there is 30. Yeah, yeah, with the special. Yeah, with the special, it's 30. Dang. Yeah, it's a good- it, the, the writer really knows how to write these books. Like, I have the Sanji one on here mm -hmm. that, that I've read. It's so good. I'm a- I, I shouldn't say it like that. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> whoa, whoa! I was about to say it like- <laughs> Reading fix always makes me want to be a beta reader. A beta reader? Uh, it's like someone who who like spell checks and and like oh, reads over for different parts and everything just to like for for solid comp like if you need it's like if I were to write something and I'm just like I want your thoughts on this. You want to do your thoughts on it before I publish it. Gotcha. I was like, wow, you want to be a fucking beta while you read? <laughs> <laughs> I yes. think I, I think want to be a beta. Yeah, I think if anyone admits that they like read fan like fan fiction on Wattpad, they are a beta. <laughs> and tag yourself, Wait, I'm alpha, a beta. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Which I'm one's Omega? Alpha. Which one's Omega? Oh God, I feel no. Fanfiction.net. No, no. <laughs> I feel like fanfiction.net is a beta, and then Wattpad is an Omega. Hell yeah. There's some good books on Wattpad. Well, yes, but. Is Wattpad notorious for good books? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> did, wait, 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 did you see this Wattpad, this, like, Wattpad show that they made? 
It was like a, no. it's like take Twilight no. and minus the vampires and like yeah. add a bunch of sex shit and then boom. Ugh. I gotta find it. It was it, it's a Riverdale. It's a, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not Riverdale. <laughs> I mean, it fits the description. Yeah, I got, I got, I'm gonna find it off, 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 oh, off this uh, recording. <laughs> I gotta find the name of it, but um. I guess if you guys would like to check out this book, I'll have it linked down below. Also, you should check out the other people's, like, the, the other books that this uh, author has written. Especially the, 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 the Sanji one is super good. <laughs> super good, huh? Yeah. Would yeah. you say it is delectably good? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking chef's kiss. All day, all day. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, thank you to uh, Jolene for joining me for this Wattpad session. I Ooh, really do appreciate fun. it. Yeah, I hope to have you I for more. I remember how to read. I know, right? It's so exciting when I remember how to do that, too. <laughs> and I'm feeling pretty fucking, like, super right now from, from this reading. <laughs> Ooh. But, uh, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, and that was Jolene, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for another Wattpad book club. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Was that better? Yeah. <laughs>